you know, what people don't understand, I think a lot is you can be the best surgeon in the world, but you can't operate on yourself. So yeah. I tell everybody, you can be the best actor in the world, but sometimes you need to have somebody behind that camera telling you because what you may be thinking in your head or what may be coming out may not actually be what you're projecting. So it's really good. And, you know, we go in our heads and I could go into all details on that in another one. I don't want to waste everybody's time because they're here to watch you guys. So with that being said, I want to ask, kind of give me the story. Give me your backstory that a lot of people might not know. Right? Like, well, how did you start? What do you... What's Tell your, us who you are. Who are you? Ooh, okay. So, I started out... I have been a dancer my whole entire life. My mom put me in dance when I was 18 months. I didn't really have a choice. I 18 mean, months? I was literally 18 months, so I didn't know what was going on in the world. <laughs> I literally was just, like, lifeless, pretty much. I mean, I was alive, but, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I started to kind of realize what dance was around the time I was five. I actually did not like it because I hated the idea of having to wear ballet tights. I despised it. Oh my gosh. The the tights, like I would cry and throw a fit every time I had to put tights on. They're not comfortable. No, they're not. No. At all. And oh my gosh. One time my mom made me wear them to school and I like cried the whole day. It was the worst. So I hated tights, <laughs> hated dance. But then once I started competing, I got into competitions when I was five. I actually was like, you know what? Maybe this isn't so bad. And then when I was around eight, that's when I got on dance films, which I think is really what jump started my career. Just out in LA and just in general with everything. So grateful for it. You know, a lot of stuff happened on it, but I mean, I really would not be where I am today without it. After that, I was like, you know what? I like this. Competitions got a little traumatizing for me after mm -hmm. dance moms, but you know, that's okay. I then ended up doing Dancing with the Stars Juniors. They had a junior season, which was very cool i was on that then i danced with the radio city rockets wow in 2019 okay, yeah that's very in cool. their christmas show that was amazing then from there i started to transition into more social media stuff so i got on a web series um called chicken girls so that's kind of like what i've done for acting because at the time i was like acting is what i want to do like i don't want to dance as much anymore like i want to do acting mm -hmm. so i got really into that but then i kind of met the squad and i met jensen and i transitioned more into the whole youtube realm tell me what goes <laughs> into making one of these though Oh, okay. You guys, I don't think, realize how much work actually goes into a YouTube video. A lot goes into it because you have to plan. You have, well, first of all, you have to think of your idea, which is very difficult at times. Like, I like to call it YouTube block sometimes because sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what to do. I'm filming a video tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I have to get materials. But thank gosh I have my mom. My mom helps a lot with that because you know i can't drive i'm also scared of la freeway so i don't think i will be driving That's in la understandable <laughs> they're terrifying but so she kind of drives and gets me whatever i need which is great but first you kind of think of your idea then you have to think of an outline of really what you want to do in the video and that is really really important because you know that literally is the whole video you have to make sure you know what your audience likes and what they want to see and you have to sort of like incorporate that into every single one of your videos and you know what does well you know youtube's all about whatever has done well for you like repeat it like that's okay you know i think a lot of people sometimes try to go completely different and stuff and don't try to repeat things but repeating stuff does really well you know if it works you know like reuse it you know maybe not completely you can change it up a little bit but i would say that's a big thing but also it takes a lot of time i would say I mean, sometimes they will only take an hour and a half, but never like less than an hour and a half. But then, you know, sometimes we'll do crazy videos. Like I just went to Colorado and filmed a whole video in Colorado at the Stanley Hotel for Halloween because it's like a haunted hotel. So, you know, that took, you know, flights and hotels and stuff like that. And just kind of, I think, figuring out what I'm going to do, what will do best is complicated at times. But, you know, we get through it. You get through it. You made it. So then, so, so. Let me go back to, from the standpoint. So you started. You went obviously went through dance, yeah. and like you say, you've been through um, all a lot of the phases of it. From and, and you say you really want to lean into acting. What do you? What is it about the acting side that you that you enjoy? So before I moved to LA, I have been pretty much in LA for the past six years, but we were just doing hotels and Airbnbs because I was dancing and we were like never in LA. We were in LA, but not enough to where we could get a house. But when I officially moved here in October, 2020, my mom, you know, she made, made me set some goals and was like, what do you want to do? She's like, you know, I'm not just going to move here. So, you know, you can sit around and like go to a few dance classes, and, you know, play Roblox and that's it. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I mean, cause that's literally like during like 2018, 2019, that was all I wanted to do with my life. I just literally wanted to 
play roblox and take like a few dance classes and that was it <laughs> so she was like listen that's not gonna work you know you're, that's not gonna happen so she was like i'm gonna need you to set some goals so i was like you know what i really want to get kind of into the acting realm so i got an agent you know i got a few auditions you know, for like nickelodeon and stuff like that i got some cool ones but you know i didn't really have much experience so you know i don't really book anything obviously except for chicken girls that was really cool that i booked that that has given me a lot of experience and you know kind of figuring out like what acting is and you know just the whole vibe of it to see if it is something i want to continue and you know i would do a lot of self tapes and stuff but unfortunately with um not unfortunately but like with youtube i got really busy to where you know i'd be filming from like 9 a.m to like 10 p.m at night and you know i wouldn't want to do a self tape or if i did it wouldn't be good quality because it would just be so rushed because i'd be tired and you know it'd be dark outside with self tapes you really have to put in a lot of work and make sure they're really good and you know they do take time but that was what was hard so eventually like i think yeah i dropped my acting agent because i was like there's just no time but, you know, with YouTube, it does take a lot of time. But maybe I start getting more into acting. But, like, I also don't want to say, like, I'm going to, like, push back on YouTube. So it's, like, hard you know, figuring out. Sounds sounds like very Decisions, normal. decisions. <laughs> the balance. But I just, had a re- I just had a meeting with Nickelodeon a couple of days ago. So Exciting. it went really well, I think. So well, hopefully something. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, like, jinx anything. But hopefully something comes through there. Wonderful. Well, then go back to TV for a minute. And, you know, um, Jade, um, the only reason I say this is I, I, I know her. Yeah. Um, she did dance, <laughs> really? a lot of dance, and I know the commitment level. And, yes. um, and, and I think one of the things, and you see it, and clearly with you as well, is you may know the, the a dance as you can do it, but the reality is you're a performer. You're an entertainer. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that energy has to translate and now i've been very fortunate to get to know you ironically we knew each other over a year ago when you guys actually modeled, modeled together behave so <laughs> how weird is that so you know the world is very very small oh yes. um and i've gotten to know you um by hanging out this week all of us down in key west and doing some fun stuff but the but the reason i say that is i've seen your energy level and that's really unique that positive even when you may not feel the greatest you just you know you got to bring yourself up yeah and that is the connection and that's like being an actor you know whether exactly yeah. and so i think you know you go back to like you said being on set with um dance moms or chicken girls or you've been around the entertainment you've been in front of the camera besides dancing yeah. and i think what do you what do you think um from a dancing standpoint how would you how do you how do you feel that translate both of them you're dancing and performing but one you're being an actress like what is give me the differences obviously i know there's wait difference from like dancing and acting your energy yeah i think your performance differences is what he's mm-hmm. saying how do you perform as a dancer versus how do you perform as an so, actor one thing i will say is i have really noticed how sometimes dancing has actually really helped with acting because as a dancer you really have to always like express your emotions and you know acting is actually a very important aspect in dancing and artistry you know with no like expression and anything like that you know like your dance isn't going to be as good and you know it's kind of just like blah like I hate to say it but like I mean it's very true (laughs) true, yeah so I've had experience with that you know I've always I feel like I've always been a pretty good performer in general I've been told that so I haven't had an issue with ever like um expressing myself with dance and stuff that's also another thing is that is that is the reason why I dance is expressing myself because sometimes I need to get those like emotions out and you know Mm -hmm. I don't know another way to do that besides dancing so but the difference between them is acting I feel like for the most part it's more controlled with dance I kind of just like do whatever I want and express whatever I'm feeling but sometimes with acting I think this is also something I could improve on in acting is I kind of just feel like doing what I'm told and I don't fully express myself and sometimes it does I don't like fully let myself out Mm -hmm. but with dance I just automatically do that both acting it's more kind of like controlled I don't know does that make sense that makes so much sense because being personally involved in multiple aspects of the arts there are some that you just feel on an emotional level more connected to yeah like acting or music having I've recently gotten into performing music and it's much more thoughtful and I feel like I have to plan it out versus going and painting like that is such a comfortable part yeah. of my life I can go there without any thought but then other parts I'm like just overthinking and overthinking so yes it makes mm-hmm. lots of sense